Yo, what is up, everybody? It's PSI. Welcome to another video. Haven't made one of these in a while. I've been doing a more passive strategy um, because I don't like all the active trading. It's actually pretty stressful to uh, do it constantly, uh, but I found a solution. So um, once you find a trend, either positive or negative, what you can do is actually buy either calls or puts depending on which direction you think it's going. I think that the market is going to go up. As you see, um, uh, this past week, it's gone up for S&P 500. Uh, we did have a slight dip, but those are natural. Uh, looking at the year to date, uh, that was the slight blip that I believe we are now past. So we can continue uh, increasing, which is nice, uh, until the next um, dip, which might not be for a few months. It might be tomorrow. I don't know, but... The likelihood in my eyes is that it will continue to go up. So now that I have which trend it's going to do, instead of actively trying to trade the different um, volatilities in the day, what I can do is I can actually buy deep in the money calls. With these deep in the money calls that are out a few days, um, I like to put it out uh, several days. So I have my one share and then over here I've got my two call options that um, I've plussed 18% to just today alone um, and then 34% total. Just with these two call options, um, I, I bought in at $1,211 and now they're each worth $16.20. Uh, and, and so, um, or well, $1,600. $22. You guys know what I mean. But um, so essentially what I'm doing is buying the in the money calls and then holding them for a few days for them to go up. It might go down a little bit in that time, but uh, each call option is essentially going to be giving you uh, the same amount of value as the S&P 500 as if you owned 100 shares. So when they're this deep in the money, you can actually look at view all options you can see that the break even is 0.08%. So very low. Um, the break even is actually 52019 if you were to buy one right now. And the price is 519.73, which means basically like you're 50 cents off of what you're actually looking at when it comes to the price. So with that in mind, every dollar it goes up, it's going to go up approximately $100 per call option that you have. And that's very useful, especially if you think that the trend is going to go up. You can invest safely. Um, it's not as safe as buying actual shares, but it is um, a way to add a multiplier to your gains, also a multiplier to your losses. Obviously, if you bought just shares and it goes down $10, then you'll lose $10 per share. But if it goes $10 down and you're in call options, you're going to lose 100 times that. So that's essentially uh, where I'm at, and uh, that's my strategy for now. Um, it's I've hauled this a couple days. Um, I bought these on 5.6, and today is 5.8. So I think it's already time to go ahead and sell these off and then buy new ones that are further down. So I'm going to look for a price that's pretty good for me. Um, the total price is at 519.76 and this is a 504 call so their intrinsic value is $15.76. So I'm looking for something a little bit above $15.76 which I will easily get because the bid and the ask are both above that price. So I'm going to go ahead and sell both of the <coughs> Gosh, I'm I'm outside and I'm talking too much so that's why I coughed. All right, so let's go ahead and sell two of these. I'm pretty sure I can get 16, 15 for these. I like nice, even numbers. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. So it probably needs to go up a little bit more for that to trigger um, a buy. And I do see it climbing a little bit. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Okay, 1607, 1605. I just need it to hit. I refuse to lower it. Although I would like to get going already. All right, there it is. So um, that total sale was for $3,230. So that was only two call options. What I want to do now is since I'm more confident in the play, I want to get this to three call options. So to do that, 
I go 3,230 divided by three, that's approximately um, 1,080-ish dollars. Yeah, 1,080-ish, like 76 or something like that. So 1,000, um, let's go 1,070. So we're gonna look at all options. So this is where we're at right now, the 504s. I'm gonna go down further. So this is May 15th, let's go to May 20th. And let's look for something, a call option that is in the price range of $1,000 per call option, which is right about how out of the money I was with the 504, or in the money I was with the 504s when I bought them. But since the price has increased, I can safely move to a higher call option or strike price call option. So what I'm going to do is, um, so these are 511. So I'm going to have to go to the, uh, the, I'm gonna have to go to the 511s to get that price, which is $8 in the money. So this is still really safe. And now I can triple, or well, multiply my exposure to the S&P 500 by 1.5, since I'm increasing my position from two call options that are deep in the money to three call options that are deep in the money. I really hope this makes sense to you guys, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut up uh, and buy these before it like runs away from me. Oh wait, it's going down. Good. Well, maybe we can just get a better deal then. Let's try and get uh, in at 1048. We'll see if that takes. Um, I'm going to go back there uh, to the... Uh, okay, I uh, it executed. I'm in at uh, 1028. Where did they go? 510. All right. So the break even is 0.33%. So... Um, by May 20th, it's now May 9th, I believe. Um, so that is 11 days from now. So in those 11 days, basically what uh, I'm expecting is that the price will at least go up $2 because the current price is five nineteen sixty eight, and um, I have a break even of five twenty one thirty five. So the difference is approximately a little bit less than $2. So Expecting the S&P 500, the SPY, to go up $2 in that time frame is literally easy. Like, on a daily basis, it goes up $2 for, for nothing, just on, on a whim. So, um, that's the strategy I'm using right now, and it's way more passive. Obviously, it makes, makes way less money than what I was doing before, but uh, this is a way safer option, and it's way more passive, and I don't have to constantly look at this garbage when I'm trying to have a good day. Um, way less stress, but uh, yeah, so that's um, what I'm doing right now, and that's why I haven't been posting as much, because this is not very exciting, but I do see that the trend is positive, and it's just going to keep on going up, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's my strategy, and I'm sticking to it. Got it at 1048, and it's looking strong. I, uh, I like it. I'm already up six bucks. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more videos and I'll try to keep, keep posting. I've been posting more about like my carnivore diet and all that stuff uh, lately. But um, I'm still in the stock market, obviously. Uh, I just have multiple different interests.